Okay, so for question 3, a region R is bounded by the curve. So we have a curve and a line here. Okay, so this is a quadratic. Lah. When we expand, we can see this is x squared minus 2x. So we have to sketch the graph and then shape the region. So this too much is for our sketching and find out the region R. So for our quadratic, so they already factorized completely for us. So you can see our factorized is x equals to 0 and x equals to x equals to 2. x minus 2, right? So we factorize here, we can see x is equals to 0, x equals to 2. So this is our two roots. Uh, so this is our quadratic quadratic graph that touch the axis. So from here, for question A, we're going to draw. our quadratic so this quadratic has two roots which is x is equal to 0 so when x equals to 0 means our y axis is at here uh, so this is x equals to 0 and then another graph is another root is x equals to 2 so this is our quadratic graph and a linear graph y equals to x uh, so y equals to x is a straight line passing through our origin Okay, okay, so you can see our quadratic is not long enough. So I have to touch. So this is our quadratic. So our region is bounded by these two. So when we see it, it is bounded by these two means our region is at here. So this is our region where we can label it as R. So to get these two marks, we have to draw it correctly and then we have to label label our axes. So label our roots here, 0 and 2. Label our graph. So our quadratic graph is y and then x times x minus 2. Linear graph is y equals to x. So label it correctly to get these two marks. So our marks will be uh, located for the first one. Our first mark for your shape, your quadratic shape, is it correctly? So another mark is for completely label. So when you have assignment, you can see this, how we're going to answer our area and volume. And then we look at question B here. What's the question B they say? They say, find the volume. So they want to find this volume. Solid obtained when this area of R above S axis. So they want the above S axis. So means they want the, the part to become the solid part is here. Area of the R above S axis. So your above above S axis is here. Okay, so above F axis is here. So not included the below S axis to find the solid that obtained when this area are above S axis. We're going to do the rotation about 360 about S axis. So you're going to rotate your solid at here. So you get a cone. Okay, so you get a hollow cone. When you rotate, you can see. Uh, when you rotate, you can see when you rotate a line, you will get a cone. So when you rotate a graph, so you get a hollow graph. Uh, so here is empty, empty space. So this is our solid generated when we rotate around S axis. So for question B, we're going to write out our formula. If we want to find out the solid according to this region of three, uh, green color, so we can write out our formula. So this volume can be generated. So you can see we have two parts. We can see our region here in two parts. One part is our green color which is attached to the axis. Another green color here where the region is not attached to S axis. 
So this is two curve concept. This is one curve concept. So one curve co concept, rot we rotate straight away. So these two curve concept, we have to minus the empty space below here. So before we find this empty space below here, we have to know what is our intersection point here. So we're going to find out what is our intersection point for the first step. So y equals to x, x minus 2, this is our first curve. y equals to x, this is our second curve. I want to find out the intersection here. So we are going to solve this simultaneously. So x will equals to x, x minus 2. Okay, then this one we are going to expand. So never, never, never cancel like that. Because quadratic, you have to expand and move everything to the left hand side or not you will missing one answer so x square minus 2x then minus x equals to 0 so x square minus 3x equals to 0 in the section point is x and x minus 3 so x 0 x 3 correct or not so they are in the section point yes one point is x 0 another point here will be 3 okay so we found the intersection point already so now we can continue to our volume we set up our formula of our volume so in order to find the volume generated around x axis here so we're going to integrate zero so for the first part for the first part here this is a one curve concept okay so this is our first part so the r is missing i write here so this is our first part, one curve concept, so we can straight integrate it directly, which is from 0 to 2. And then the curve involving here is y equals to x. So for volume, we have to uh, square our curve. Okay, and outside here, because you see, no matter how how much there are rotation, whether 360, 360, 700, or 180. So their formula always come with pi. Okay, so in order to find the volume, our formula will start with pi. So no matter how they rotate, because uh, they rotate many, many angles also, the solid generator also, the solid generator, they are same in the shape. Okay, so their formula will be pi, the function will be square. Then depends on the which point from 0 to 2. So this is our first part. So our second part, pi. Then you have to see this is from 2 to 3. So this is two curve concept. So up here, we're going to minus the down here because this is empty. So this region is empty. So the green color curve, we're going to minus this quadratic curve. So it will become x squared minus this quadratic curve. So this quadratic curve will be, I expand it, it will be x squared minus 2x squared. Okay, so this is our quadratic curve and square. So volume formula, pi in front, then function curve should be square. So when we write our formula in volume correctly, so of course the next step will be just in the grid and Substitute the upper limit minus lower limit to find out our answer. So now we're going to integrate x square power tambah satu over power baru. So for this question, they are not ready yet to integrate because we can simplify this square. We're going to simplify the question first. So to square this, so simplify it, expand it expand it so you become a square to a b b square minus x power 4 then 2 a b means uh, 4x cubed and then at the back here b square you become minus 4x square
So for this part, we can continue substitute upper limit minus lower limit. So it will give you 2 to the power of 3 over 3 minus 0 over 3. So from here, we can see this is this is this can be simplified some more. So we are in the grid. Okay, so x squared minus 4x squared becomes negative 3x squared. So this one will give us 8 over 3 pi. Okay, so for meanwhile, for this one, we'll start doing our integration. So our integration here will be power tambah 1 over power baru. And then we just perform our step upper limit minus lower limit. Then you can use your calculator to calculate it. So just write out the step clearly only. Okay, then when you press calculator, you have to be careful. This is 3 to the power of 5. This is 2 to the power of 5. Okay, so you have to do some correction. This is plus one part plus another part. So you look at our marks here. Also, just now shape already given. So our volume five marks. So when we're doing our volume or area, so the first thing is very important that you can find out the point, the value, the limit, which is this part. Okay, find out the point so that you can generate your formula correctly. So when your formula correctly here, when you write your volume, okay, write your volume like just now plus another part. When you write your formula of the volume correctly, then only we can go through, uh, we can go up. Uh, after that, we can see the working after that. If your formula here is written wrongly, so the for whole question will give you zero mark. So we will not consider the working at the at the at the down here. Okay. So make sure you can know you know how to calculate your volume and your area using formula correctly. So for this part, then we're going for the part of integration. Okay, so for the part of integration, of course, the integration part will be different here. And then this one later, so integration part, the concept of integration. Then the concept of upper limit minus lower limit. Then finally will be your answer. So that will be our five marks.